fighting with all her might, had nearly reached Olympus on her quest to defeat Typhon, the dreaded god destroyer. But first, she would have to plunge into the Forge Lands. Once home to Hephaestus, god of fire, hammer, anvil, and forge, these were now godless lands. Scorched, laid to waste. What was not dead was dying. Chaos reigned. For here, monsters roamed free. Can you, can you not tell this story like I wasn't just there? Zeus. I was literally just there two weeks ago. And even if I wasn't, though I was, I'd be listening to your story for days. It's called dramatic effect. It's called, where's my skip button? Uh, yes. Fine. New title. Ubisoft Quebec presents the video game formerly known as Gods and Monsters. It is actually pronounced Ubisoft. Ah, uh, the French. like a rift in the ground. Time to jump in and see what's inside. This mortal has no sense of safety. Jumps right into holes like a rabbit or a tomb rat. Zeus! No lawsuits here, please! Yeah. <laughs> 
She can just jump into the underworld now? These portals must have opened when Typhon escaped. So you can just wave away whatever you want with narration. Zeus, a perfect father and husband approves. This might be a fantasy game, but even we have limits. Keep that steady on, little one, and you might just survive. Hello there, folks, and welcome to a very special episode of Ubisoft News Plays. I'm Chris Waters. We got our regular co-host, Yusuf Begid, over there. And we've got a special guest with us, Clemence Nogri, product Hello. manager on Immortals Phoenix Rising. Clemence, hi. Hello, everyone. We are excited to have you here. We are excited to be streaming Immortals Phoenix Rising today. Uh, live gameplay. Yusuf, nice work in that little Tartaros pit there, man. Yusuf, I think you're muted, and I think my audio is very loud. I am. I was muted. <laughs> Streaming from home. Chris so, Clemence, you're probably muted too. Let's do. Let's do it again. Clemence, welcome to the stream. 
<laughs> Thank you, Chris. Hello, everybody. Clemence, Clemence should be you, good. You are part of the dev team here on God, uh, Gods and Monsters, the game formerly known as Gods and Monsters, Immortals Phoenix Rising. Uh, Y'all showed it off at Forward in a big way yesterday. Is the team feeling pretty excited? Yes, definitely. It's always a big moment to, to show our baby to the world. Oh, yeah. And we are super stoked to play. Yusuf is playing right now. He's Phoenix running through the golden fields of... What's this, what's this area called? This is called the Forge Lands. It's the region dedicated to the god Hephaestus. Dedicated to the god Hephaestus. The hammer guy, right? Exactly. <laughs> the big statue you were just on. Oh, yeah. So, folks, this is Ubisoft News Plays. We do twice a week live streams of Ubisoft games. We're getting a special early look at Immortals Phoenix Rising today. Uh, follow the channel if you want to see this and other Ubisoft games on the regular. And, yeah, we're super excited to have you all joining us. We are chatting on twitch.tv slash Ubisoft. And so go there if you want to ask some questions. We'll throw them to Clemence. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, we're glad to have you there, too. Uh, Yusuf, you are being attacked. I am, Chris. Uh, I'm, uh, one of the things, uh, about this game is that, like, just, like, wandering around, there's just so much stuff that you just happen upon and discover that, like, wasn't, like, I didn't get, like, a quest or anything to come here, um, but it looks like there's some interesting stuff, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight these dudes here and then, uh, see what's up. Hold on, uh, I'm seeing, like, maybe a harpy here, I'm seeing yes. some... What, what seeing, have we got? Yes, yeah, so you currently have a harpy flying around and you have uh, different varieties of ghost soldiers that are trying to kick your butt. They're trying. But... They're trying. <laughs> will they succeed? We will see. Ooh, nice clutch dodge there, Yusuf. And like dodging is, a, we're going to talk about combat today. We're going to talk about the monsters, talking about the world, basically whatever you folks want to know about. Uh, we've got Clemence here to, to give us the scoop on. Uh, one of the things I really like is this little, this dodge like time slowdown effect. Yeah, that was also part of the design. You can also have it if you parry in time. Ooh, that, that, that one went far. <laughs> <laughs> that one went far. That's my that's, that's the what I'm bringing here. Oh, cool. So we have a little puzzle here. It seems we have to solve. How do you know? Because we, we got levers, we got glowing stuff. Yeah, we got levers and glowing stuff, Chris. If that doesn't mean a puzzle, I don't know what does. Exactly. All right. Is there, are these pyres we have to fight, light, maybe? Clemence just sitting here. She, Clemence, do you know what's going down here? What, yes, what's the situation? <laughs> what's the situation Yusuf is in here? He's now trying to like do a little flame action. What's happening? Definitely. Ah. So this puzzle mechanic is um, the lever you just uh, unlocked is going to flame one of the pyres that you have in the middle. Yep. The, right now it's turned off because uh, the lever ha is timed. And you have to use your guided arrow ability to flame your arrow and hit the similar pyres that are surrounded on top. You see one over there on the top left? Oh, I see. Yeah, up on the next level. And right? then, yeah, you have a little, they're a little bit, yeah, they're scattered a little bit around. Uh, so you need to find them. Oh, there's more. They're behind grids and on top to your ah. left, there's one over there as well. Go, go, go. You, you got this. All right. Are there more? Maybe oh, one. Ooh, where's the but before you it looks like the time the thing went out so this is yes. like oh there's one this is this is sort of one of the big things about the open world of immortals phoenix rising right is lots of little lots of little environmental puzzles lots of opportunities to to explore to figure things out definitely this is one of the key elements of, of immortal phoenix rising is this notion of like exploration is rewarding because it either brings you to chests that have this kind of uh, puzzle mechanics but you also encounter uh, world puzzles that will give you uh, a resource that is called coins of karen that will you will use uh, in the main game to upgrade your abilities look there's no resource in my mind more valuable than the one that lets me do cooler stuff so <laughs> let's go yusuf light these things up all right <laughs> But it's also like a, so it's like a timing thing. Oh, I got a light bolt. Okay. You're using the guided arrow dealio. Uh, go, go, go. I think there's like four, two on the top and two behind the grid doors. Oh, I got to get them all in the same. Yes. Ah, okay. I thought they <laughs> stayed lit. All right. Here we go. We're going to do this one. Right as if I believe in you. Thank you. Chris. I also believe in you. Thank you. I'm pretty sure everybody oh. in the chat also believes in you. Okay. Well, this one doesn't count. <laughs> This one doesn't Stop count. Stop believing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Oh, uh, we got the Spectral Tiger in the chat saying, what's up with the Oryx statue there? That's a nice reference to a Rainbow Six event that just brought like a sort of future automaton robot look uh, to Rainbow Six Siege. But this is, the enemy that that statue is, is an automaton. Is that right, Clemence? Exactly. Uh, so automatons are, yes, robots. But the fun fact is that they were part of Greek mythology. It is a creature that was created by Hephaestus, men of metal, and also other creatures made of metal to help him out around the forge. And uh, in the story, they were corrupted by Typhon, so that's why they become your enemies. But some of them were frozen into statues, so you'll have them in fun little poses and you'll have fun fi finding them. But there are quite a challenge to fight, so I'm pretty sure we'll find some in this session. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you said nice work. You yeah, made it happen. Thank you. So did you just get, you just got something called like plate of ethereal automaton. Dude, I got Is some new a... armor. Oh yeah, let's go. Ooh, 20% defense. Ooh, I'm gonna lose some stamina for it, but ooh, it's so shiny. Oh, that's nice. All right, we're gonna roll with this. Yeah, we gotta try on the new, the new, di new duds. Oh yeah, you can see my stamina meter a little bit lower, but I got some more defense now. So this is like, uh, there's, I noticed there were a couple armor slots there, uh, Clemence. This is sort of part of like, it's not just visual customization, it's also like pick your gear for like what kind of stats you are you want to like lean into. Yes, exactly. The gears have uh, perks and stats, so you need to look for them, but you also find uh, different color varieties for each. So if you want to find a, a, mightily a golden armor, you can go look for it. Yusuf, uh, I'm out of stamina. You're, you're seen, I'm out of stamina. Yusuf, you seem more like more of a golden armor guy, to be honest. Oh, you're 100 percent right. I am. <laughs> but I just love right. shiny things. That's true. I'm simple like that. Well, there are a lot of shiny <laughs> things to collect. <laughs> Game of the year. Oh yeah, it's Minotaur Ooh. time, baby. There we go. Minotaurs, hammers. I got some that's allies just like an, here. That's just like yes. an eagle. Those are oh. some of the guardians that are here to help you out. Yeah, buddies. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's not only up to you, Phoenix, but it's mostly up to you. I mean, it's pretty much. I feel like I'm carrying this fight. I don't think they're, they're, <laughs> <laughs> they're trying, but uh, you know, they don't have my skills. You know, it's just nice to be, uh, it's just nice to have somebody's on your side, even if you're still the franchise player. I love these finishing moves where you just launch the enemies. <laughs> like, look at how far <laughs> that Minotaur went. Alright, so we have this little, uh, like, Hermes symbol here. Come on, so yes. what, what is this? So this is a, a navigation challenge. Ooh. So you, by the moment you touch that plate, yeah, mm -hmm. a timer will start and you'll have it uh, the countdown seen by a beam of light that you'll see at the distance and you have uh, a dedicated time slot to go from place A to place B. Ooh, and okay. this one has lasers. Lasers? Alright. <laughs> Alright, looks okay, like we gotta glide our way over there. Yeah, these are a little like uh, air vent, like boost your glide a little bit. Use it if you're gonna shoot the, shoot the gap. I'm gonna have to. Ooh, get through them lasers. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Use them. Not. Don't get. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Don't forget to use your stamina potions. Right. Stamina potion. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice little dash move there. Come on, go, run, 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 sprint, 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 sprint. <laughs> oh, I made it! Yeah. Success. <laughs> Ooh. Nice job. Thanks for reminding me for the the sprint at the end there. I don't think I would have made it without that. Mm. Giving them Ooh. coins. Typhon stole those too. Karen was saving up for a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so what well, are those Karen... coins? What's the purpose of those coins? Man, they upgrade your skills. Weren't you listening before? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was so distracted. <laughs> no, it's fine. You're in the and zone. You're playing. And actually, just a little uh, explanation on what Zeus was just explaining on why uh, Karen would want a bridge is because Karen is the person who would bring. Uh, your spirit to the underworld, and so he would have to uh, he have, would have to navigate the Styx, which is the river. And so maybe he got a little bit tired of having to bring people on his boat, so maybe he was saving up for a bridge. I like saving that. up for a bridge. Uh, Get across the river yourselves, folks. Come on, I've been doing this for thousands of years. Yeah, so there's a, a lot of links to Greek mythology, and this was one of the examples of conversation between uh, Zeus and Prometheus. I like it. Uh, 
Kylo Ren's in the chat asking, is this the Ubisoft Forward? Ubisoft Forward was yesterday. Immortals Phoenix Rising, which is this game, was showcased there in a big way, uh, as well as a bunch of other games and announcements. If you want to check the replay of that, go on over to our YouTube channel, and uh, it's all right there, including like the breakout videos of the new games announced, the updates on games uh, like Watch Dogs Legion, and uh, also a whole lot more Immortals Phoenix Rising. But what you're seeing now here is live gameplay. Yusuf is on the sticks. We've got Clement's No Greed here from the development team, and we're answering your questions from chat, and we're fighting rogue Cerber Cerberi. Cerberuses? What's a, what's a plural of Cerberus? That's actually a really good question I would have to ask. Even for Cyclops, <laughs> is it Cyclops play? Or, yeah, need to catch up on my Greek. I think Cyclops is or just Malanin. Cyclops. Maybe. I think it's like, uh, it's like fish. Fish? Like fish is the plural of fish? Yeah. I mean, to, to be fair, we don't, like, really have a lot of call to refer to multiple Cyclops in our, in this day and age. <laughs> or Cerberus. Like... Cerberi? <laughs> No, we have to talk about multiple Cerberi all the okay, time. Okay, we do. You're right. <laughs> so yeah, good thing collecting those pomegranates because you're going to need them for, for potion crafting later. Oh, right. Okay. Ooh, all right, talk to me about potions. We had, the, we had the stamina potion, which Yusuf used uh, mid-air in that clutch Hermes challenge. We got health potions, presumably, as well. You have, uh, so there are four potions. You have uh, stamina, health, uh, defense, and attack potions. And you can craft them by collecting ingredients throughout the world. So you see one right there near the pyre or to the right. Yeah, you have some, uh, you have figs, you have pomegranates, you have uh, uh, champignons, sorry, mushrooms. Um, <laughs> And you have um, some golden flowers and they each by their color coding helps you to create one potion. And so you have, uh, in this region, you have four potion crafting stations. Uh, so we can go to one later on to to go create some. Right. We're we're pretty uh, healthy on our potions right now. Yeah, pretty okay. But uh, healthy on the potions. <laughs> I see what you did there, buddy. Yeah, nice work. <laughs> yeah, these are the the potion crafting areas here. Yes, exactly. Yeah. The cauldrons of Cersei. Right. Okay. So I just appreciate that you chose like some tasty foods to represent the potions. Like a pomegranate is appetizing. I want to make a potion from that. Yeah. So, Klamas, you have recommended this vault over here. Yes, uh, exactly. So I want to head over here. Maybe we'll get into to some uh, fun. I'm sure we'll find some things along the way. Cause it's, it's a bit across the map. But uh, I want to head in that direction. What, who is this? Who are you? What are you riding now? I hope see you later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all right. Oh, this so looks like another puzzle. This is one uh, of the horses uh, that you have available in the game, and this one is a mechanical horse that you can find in Hephaestos' region. Uh, so we already had him in your in your preset. So it fits with the environment of the of the region dedicated to the god of metalwork and invention. Nice. Alex Stark Phoenix says, as I understand from last year's announcement, this game was developed by the team behind Ace. Yes, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, to be specific. Uh, right, Clemence? Yes, exactly. And before that, uh, the team was on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. That's right, out of Quebec City. And uh, I like this. I like this glowing horse. I'm a fan. Oh yeah, it's like kind of like clockworky. I dig it. And you were saying, Clemence, that's like you find that one in Hephaestus's region. Uh, so presumably, you got some other mounts potentially coming from other regions. Yes, definitely. Uh, different colors, different designs. You will have your pick of your favorite horse. Oh, excellent. Or favorite mount, should I say, because there aren't only Ooh. horses. Ooh. Okay, okay. Yusuf, you're a yes. pretty good shot, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, nice work. All right, this looks like a pretty uh, intense puzzle here. I am going to head first to this vault. You got your eyes on this vault. I do. I do, indeed. It we is have... a really fun one. We did get a little tip about what goes on in this vault, but I refused to let Yusuf play this vault before the live stream because I wanted to make him do it live in front of all of you viewers. So uh, this is going to be good. <laughs> yes. Ooh, all right. Well, I, I can't resist an icon like this, though. So I'm going to climb this wall, see what's 95 meters away from us. It, yeah, but is it? it's got that little carrot. Oh. Does that mean it's below? It might be. Like... I don't, need no, that, I don't know. It doesn't look like you're getting in there. 
you're getting closer. So yeah, you can't climb just about uh, every surface too in the open world. What you're seeing yeah, here. exactly. Just need to be careful about your stamina. Made it with stamina to spare. Oh yeah. Okay, looks like there's something big going on here. Oh. Oh, that I think we just found legendary automaton. Yeah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, uh, buddy. You got yourself into this. All right, I want the smoke. Bringing the heat to Talos the rebuilt. Oh dang. Oh, oh. oh lighten you up with those hand lasers. That's a technical term. Hand lasers. Alright, so this is I mean this is just like a in the world kind of boss character, Clemence, right? Like uh, yep. just like an extra tough enemy, like what's the deal with Talos here? So Talos is a legendary version of the automatons that you can find in the world. Um, our creatures do have different uh, levels of difficulty, and you'll find it by their color palette and color scheme. Um, but legendary creatures have other attacks, and of course they're more powerful, so they're quite the fight. Yusuf? Yeah. yeah, I feel like uh, I've been... But speaking of the difficulty level, uh, I think we got a little bit of a glimpse earlier on, but Clemence, are there kind of like multiple difficulty levels for folks who want to like customize what kind of challenge they're taking on? Definitely. For the VIP demo we had, uh, for this demo we had uh, normal or easy available so that you can tailor to your type of gameplay, but the final game will have five going from uh, story mode to uh, nightmare mode and new game plus if you're really up for a challenge. Okay. Nightmare mode, yeah. No thank you. But I know we definitely have some folks in the chat who uh, seem to be hankering for some nightmare mode, so it's going to be there for you folks. <laughs> Use it. I want the hammer. Yes. I'm I'm usually the, the type of person that plays plays games on normal. Ooh, that hurt. All right, we got a health potion. Don't worry. If you don't want to spend all of your stamina potions, uh, one tip is that if you do some sword or axe combos, it will regenerate some of your stamina. But you need to go in and, and hit the, the creature. Uh oh, this is a big smash coming down. And, and come on, I, I don't know if I'm if I am noticing this right, but I I feel like when I use. Uh, my Phoenix's ability uh, here, this one on maps to, to B, uh, I feel like it spawns uh, stamina, like exactly. orbs. When they right? hit the creature you're fighting, it will yeah, it will generate some stamina orbs. So also really good. Is it a health potion? Right. You're almost there. You almost got this, you said. This Talos is indeed legendary. So what um, are these? We, we have stamina potions, we have health potions. What are these potions? What's this purple and yellow potion? Gloss. Those are defense and attack potions. They give you some uh, perks for your damage and your protection. As okay, well. well, let's take one of those each. I <laughs> mean... <it's... laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, I'm doing a lot more damage now. You juiced. This is information. So be careful when they're helpful. stunned because they're going to blast out when they wake up. So just make sure the stun meter. Yep, careful. Ooh. Perfect. That's good well to know. Done. Okay. Well done. I, love, I like the this like framed by the columns in the moon in the background. <laughs> you picked a dramatic time for an encounter, you said. You've got a flair for it. Thank you. There's one thing I'm good at, <laughs> being dramatic. Hit. Finish him off. Oh, and he's gone. Ooh, Ooh we got another new bow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get flashy yeah, with Phoenix. Nice fancy. Nice job. He's feeling himself. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's see new what we just got for bow, our... Bow. Ooh, bow charging speed with the bow while midair. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your current one that you have? Uh, current one is charge shots inflict 175 stun and knock back enemies. I kind of like that a lot, if I'm being honest. Uh... Hey, you do you. Uh, let's, I mean, let's try the new one. We'll get some uh, midair shots, maybe. All right, remember, you are heading east. Wait, who's this ghostly guy? You're just going to run by a ghost? You don't want to talk this? to a ghost? Oh. Blah, blah. You don't want to inhale the essence of a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, uh, is that rude? Might be rude. <laughs> Come on, what was that about? It is a ghost. Those are ghosts from... Um... The battlefields that are scattered a little bit around, there are some regions that have a bit more than others. Uh, but they've escaped uh, the underworld, so they'll see some wandering around. But they won't hurt you. They won't hurt you. They'll just enter your lungs. Mm, loot. 
Uh, Ian Nichols saying, what if I don't want to fly? While I can't imagine you wouldn't want to fly, I mean, look at these wings. When, whenever Yusuf throws himself off a cliff. Uh, there's totally a horse. Or mounts. So you can cruise all around. Or Blood Orange walk, wants or to can, know... Or you can run. Or you can walk or run. Are mounts upgradable? Like, there's a question coming from Blood Orange in the chat. Uh, mounts aren't upgradable, but you will find different uh, levels and a rarity of mounts. So. Cool. That's when uh, I need to upgrade your... Sorry. No, no. That's exactly what we wanted to know. Uh, other folks are curious about the character creator. Uh, we've been seeing this, like, yesterday during the Ford showcase. We saw this uh, sort of character model of Phoenix. But there is customization. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yes. So there is customization in the main game. Uh, you start the experience it, with it. So to ensure that you're able to create the Phoenix, you want to have your story and to have the Phoenix that represents you. Uh, you'll be able from the start to choose between uh, two voices uh, independently from the body type and then facial customizations, uh, eye color, hair variations, hair type, uh, hair colors, eyebrow colors, beards, um, visual customizations as well in your face. There's a, quite a variety and I can't wait to see you guys is actually version of Phoenix. Oh, definitely. And if you want to get a little glimpse of those folks during the uh, videos shown during Forward yesterday, uh, they showed off a quick montage of some of the options you can find that video on the Ubisoft's YouTube channel. Ubisoft, or Yusuf, <laughs> does this, does fighting these little automatons just feel like Oh, problem be they got nothing on Talos the Legendary, let me tell you. Talos the Rebuild, excuse me. Oh, see, they're hitting each other. I'm a little nervous about this platform you're standing on. It looks like the kind of thing that spikes might come out of. Maybe no, don't not. worry. Not this okay. version. All right, cool. I think we, yeah, there's definitely spike, uh, spikes that we probably see in, uh, in vaults. Definitely, there are spikes and lasers. Oh, we definitely Spider saw some lasers oh. earlier. Yusuf got a little clipped, but made it through. Get up, get up. I think I'm feeling hey, the other Stanley, boat. welcome to the chat. As someone who enjoyed Odyssey a lot, you're really liking this game? I'm glad. Uh, come on, like, give folks a quick update. Like, this is sort of our their first time seeing like a, maybe a live streaming gameplay of it. We you showed off a bunch yesterday. When are folks going to be able to play it for themselves? So they will be able to play for themselves when the game releases on December 3rd on uh, current gen. And right. next gen when they are ready. <laughs> December 3rd. That's yeah. when it's happening, folks. Yeah, it's coming to calendars. PC, it's coming Stadia, soon. Switch. Yes. Uh, current gen, PC, Stadia, uh, Switch, and uh, next gen as well. All right, Yusuf. You right. took down some of these these folks down there are you like looking for maybe like a puzzle situation are you investigating are you still what's what's your what's your approach right now i mean oh oh see okay i think we found some puzzles oh yeah i see some pressure plates i also see some harpies slanging arrows at you what are harpies yeah if you want to get bring your fight to the air you can uh, use your hercules bracer ability to slingshot towards them oh right i like it oh hey now Oof. <laughs> that was effective. Yeah, that worked. I like that. Yeah. And remember, you just got. Did you end up equipping that new bow with like extra. Oh, I did. Uh, Midair juice. That's a good call. Hello. That's all a technical my... term, folks. Extra midair juice. Yeah, I love the grapple. Alright. So, are we thinking I have to get all these plates pushed? Hmm. I'll let so, you like, think it through for a minute and then. All right, come I'll on, stuff we know. All right, I see a lot of stones around here. There are a bunch of rocks. So I, I think I, I'm, my guess is that we're gonna have to push them all, and I know you can break these. We just oh. throwing this rock around. Put it on the plate. Well, I'm trying to break it, so I get two small rocks out of it. Oh, okay, okay. I see you. Uh, so this is like some telekinesis action, right? Yep, those are, you're using uh, Heracles' bracers. Uh, Heracles is the Greek name for Hercules. Uh, so you're as strong as Hercules. So you can use big boulders, you can use them to uh, 
to move um, some pieces of columns. You can use them with pieces of uh, tree trunks. And you can use them for puzzles, but you can also use them to throw it at, in a fight. And if a Minotaur or a Cyclops who really like to use uh, boulders to throw them at you, you can take hay them and throw them right back. Ooh, catching boulders. I like it. Uh, and this is the same like ability that you use to do that, like a uh, sort of grapple towards a harpy midair, right? Yes, exactly. Um, and you'll also see when you mount a horse, the it will also appear as uh, the reins are created through them. Oh, very cool. Oh, uh, nice. Hey, Claudio in the chat. Hey, Jack. Hey, Fox hey Claudio. Dog. What's up, hey, Dom? Hey, Claudio. Glad to see you all joining us for some Immortals Phoenix Rising action here. Yusuf is in the middle of a little puzzle. I think you're pretty close. Dude, just maybe you stand on the last one? Like, with your body? I got a rock, oh, Chris. Oh, there you go. You got rocks, man. You got rocks for days. Look at that. Nine rocks. Let's see if it's the solution. It looks pretty pretty promising. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. So that is not the solution. <laughs> <laughs> if... Wait. Okay, okay, I'm seeing Minotaur mouths. Do I shoot them? No, but you're 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 getting warmer. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, so look, there's a grid up there. Look up. The oh, I see. Okay, I gotta. That's all right. Those all mouths right. are. This is clever. I gotta I gotta light the ones that correspond to the mouths. Uh oh, I think oh. my Skype might have crashed. Can y'all hear me? I can hear you. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I'm having a little technical issue on my end. All right, all right. I okay. So we don't know what's going on with those. So these look like the corners. Hmm. The top row, maybe. I, I would say. To say this one isn't lit. Yeah. Uh, this corner one definitely isn't lit. All right. it looks like it would be. No, no. I think keep that one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think keep them. Get rid of them, some middle one. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Hey, success. <laughs> that was we a cool did puzzle. It, team. Well, that's actually one part <gasps> of. Uh, oh my god. Yes. So, so you retrieve one orb for the constellation puzzle, but you'll need to retrieve uh, four or five more orbs. Four or five more. They're oh, wow. themselves. Yeah, they're also uh, <laughs> hidden into small puzzles. Oh, so that was the down there he was standing on a grid that was a grid of like uh little bowls that this orb goes Can in take this down? exactly Ooh, okay, and, that hurt. Uh, the orbs need to place them uh following a constellation pattern interesting okay am i gonna find all the orbs here or are they throughout the yes they're all they're all throughout the this uh this puzzle zone uh oh. yeah so you'll have a little mini activities for puzzles yeah you see it, it, like, it lit up Oh wow, I got the first one. Oh, right. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> okay, I see another orb up there. I think maybe we can just go grab that one. Here we go. Oh yeah, get the wings, man. Always wings. Oh, I'm gonna need another orb. Maybe? But no, just grab that orb. Just like take that orb. But I but I, I, I wanna oh. get in there, Chris. He's right. Yep. <laughs> Oh, so you probably need to use that orb to. Mm, it takes. You gotta spend orbs to get orbs, right? That's well, I, I'm sure I can take them back. I, yeah, confirm it. You can I take think, it back afterwards. I don't think spend is. Can I fly with these? Words. No. All right. Let's All see right. those Heracles arms, man. Get it up. Can you get it right? Oh, it's a brick. He puts up a brick. There we go. That one's okay. stuck. He's got. It. Uh, Clement, yes. Sifri is acting, asking, does this game have its own lore alongside kind of the like Greek mythology lore that it's sort of drawing on? Yeah, that's a great question. So Phoenix's story is our own, uh, but the rest, uh, the conversation, the environment is heavily inspired by Greek mythology myths. Um, so you'll have a lot of winks in the architecture and the story um, to Greek mythology, but Phoenix's story is our own. Nice. Yeah, story of... Oh, hey, nice. You smashed that thing. I did. I feel like you already have an idea of what to do here. I mean, I've done this before. Well, not this specific challenge, but we've lit, we've had to light torches before. Get them orbs, baby. All right. That's, that's three orbs. I just need one more, I think. Oh. Come back here. You, know, you should, bring, should bring it with you, though. You should take it 
mm. out of out of the tiny room. Just a suggestion. I mean, <laughs> folks, you are watching a special episode of Ubisoft News Plays. Chris, me, and Yusuf are your regular hosts, and we're joined by Clemence from Ubisoft Quebec, the development team of Immortals Phoenix Rising. Uh, showed it off yesterday during Ubisoft Forward, and we're playing it live right now. Yusuf is on the controls. We're playing a PC demo of it in the, uh, what was it, was it called? Forge Lands? Exactly. This is one of the regions uh, in Immortals, but can you give us like, just like a quick, like, what are some of the other regions? How many regions you got going on? Breakdown? So we have seven regions uh, in this game. Uh, we built it in a way that it's like um, like a theme park. So you have each region is dedicated to a god, and so in the color scheme, in the architecture, and the myths that you will encounter through it, uh, it will all be dedicated to that god. Just like as this one, uh, you're in Hephaestus, the god of metalwork and uh, the forge. So his main um, palace is a, a huge forge and that's the same thinking process we had for the other regions as well speaking of forge uh there's like a little anvil icon there i'm wondering is that something you hit with a hammer like you know uh, but so, i don't know if like combat abilities like that work with puzzle stuff it's all part of the like kind of exploration how do my abilities work with the environment and interact stuff right so exactly, but for the pressure plate, like we've seen before with the little rocks, there was a feather on the pressure plate, meaning that you can put something that's light or heavy to activate it. Um, but if there's an anvil, it means that you need to put something heavy. So either you put a, a, a big piece of the element, or you can put two pieces of small of two small elements, um, and then that will make it work on that pressure plate. Nice and as egg. for your comment, sorry, about, uh, yes, your abilities. So yeah, that's the main thing. The, one of the three key pillars of this game are uh, uh, navigation, puzzles, and fight. And so uh, your ability and your skill set are actually can be used in all three parts of the game. So definitely for solving puzzles and for navigating, you'll need to uh, use Aris's Wrath to go higher up or to use Athena's Dash to boost through uh, uh, a, a short distance and uh, so yeah you can use your hammer of Hephaestus in all of those situations as well boom boom oh okay uh it, it it broke your rock it broke my rocks okay hmm hmm is this the last orb that you need this is the last orb okay time to put those thinking caps on uh what's what's that picture you're climbing on it's like a liar yeah, a liar. Uh, I don't know if that's anything, but I know, I know there is a big liar in the middle of the map that you can play. Uh, that is its own unique challenge. Oh, it looks like there's stuff here too. Is this is this the same thing? I, I I'm not sure. I'll need to take a closer look. Uh, no, that is not part of the constellation. That's another puzzle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are puzzles everywhere. So many. Pu okay. Hmm. Okay. What's up here? Oh. Okay. All right. I think. I think we found something. I feel good about this, y'all. All right. Investigate. All right. Because I think we need something metallic. Because I think metallic will block the lasers rather than get destroyed by them. Yeah, a little bit of alchemy lesson as well. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 Move them blocks. Uh. Laps you. UX, can you play it on PC? Yes, it will be playable on PC. Uh, Ian Nicholas, can you craft gear or discover gear? Yes, and actually Yusuf has gotten some new armor and a new bow already in the stream thus far. Uh, so yes, that's a... Uh... Oh yeah, there's a plate to your left. Yeah, oh, you can definitely uh, unlock and discover gear. As for crafting, you, you won't be able to craft them, but you'll be able to upgrade them. I feel like you want one of these big big rocks yeah. you got it okay so it's you can craft you can upgrade and you can find them in the world as well you can find them and upgrade them you can't craft them oh gotcha gotcha you craft like potions and stuff you do craft potions straighten it out Yusuf this is like the uh, car driving challenge we did on our watchdogs 2 stream on Wednesday. oh god <laughs> you can do it Oh, almost. All right, I'm just gonna take a oh, stamina potion. She's gassed out. <laughs> it's a heavy block, Chris. <laughs> oh, that turned off the lasers too. All right, cool. Oh yeah, give me them sweet orbs. Nice work. Hey, all right, all right. Can we throw this thing out? 
Give it the old heave ho. Okay. Yep. Uh. Yes, success. I <laughs> did it not fall back. <laughs> <laughs> Calculated. All right. Clemence, have you? One of the temptations I always have when there's like telekinesis in a game is to just like not just use it for puzzles and fighting enemies and stuff, but also try to make up like challenges for myself. Like, all right, I'm gonna try to. I see this Cyclops oh, way up high. Let me try to beat him from here. Like, do, are you seeing players do that kind of stuff? Do you do that in the studio when you're playtesting? Like, mess around with these powers? We do mess around, uh, definitely. Um, that's actually pretty the fun way of when we have challenges or fights. Uh, people are uh, on the dev team and people who have been playing are using it in completely new ways or, or things that I've never comb combination wise I've never tried. Um, so it's always fun to see yeah, what the what people can get um, get out of and solving puzzles with what they have at their disposal. And their thinking process is actually also pretty fun. Nice. Yo, ten coins. Wait, ten nice coins. Oh, it's a dog. I gotta say, I was a little skeptical of you jamming your head into a portal. Like, who knows where that goes, man? But uh, I guess it paid off. It went to loot, Chris. Come on. You think I would just uh, go ahead and stick my hands in anything? 100% yes. That's true. I'm a very curious person. I feel like you guys are Zeus and Prometheus in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So here's the uh, little potion, cauldron. Yep, okay. so that's a sneak peek of uh, the progression aspect of the main game for the demo we had unlocked uh, Potion Crafting. Ah, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead. I, I have the resources, I'm going to craft everything. Yeah, and if you go into the center of the potions, right there, because I don't see all of your resources, you have our oh. faces walking it, but I think you can upgrade some. Yep, I think you have enough. Uh... Okay. Ooh, do I want more healing? You have been using the stamina potions a lot. Let's look at those. What That's do you true. got over there? All right, more stamina. I like that. Oh, I can't afford it. You, I... Yeah. You oh, I already have that one. that one. I already, yeah, already had that one. You have just enough amber. Okay. Delicious golden, amber. golden eggs. Oh, and golden amber. Ooh. Okay. Cauldron. <laughs> <in the> cauldron. <laughs> Listen. You can't have a dirty cauldron when you're trying to make good potions. Aww. Perfect. And your uh, little phoenix buddy approves, it sounds like. All right, I think we're going to... That's where approves. We're going to need that extra stamina. I'm actually going to go ahead and... Oops. Keep clicking the wrong button there. I'm going to equip the other armor because that gave me more stamina. Nice. I got a long journey to go, Chris. Situational uh, gearing up, Yusuf. I like it. The Spectral Tiger says jump off the cliff. Oh, you know he's jumping. Oh, I'm jumping. We encourage you to jump. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got to do, do a little free fall, you know? Just make, make Phoenix you know, panic a little bit. <laughs> oh, wait, I have wins. All right, so come on, Phosphorus. Is that the name of your little Phoenix buddy here? Yes, exactly. And he, uh, he joins your adventure. He has uh, his own storyline, which I won't talk about now. And uh, you'll also have some skins available for him. Ooh. And nice. yes, to answer the ancestral questions, you will be able to pet Phosphorus. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Well, you give know. him a little scratch on the, on the throat. You know what people want to know. Uh, some folks are curious about any kind of multiplayer element to this game. Yeah. Immortal Phoenix Rising is a single player experience. Boom, there you go. Uh, Alright, Yusuf, you made it to the island. I did. I got some baddies here I gotta take out. So, for those with the shield, what I would recommend is to use Aris's Wrath, the one with the spears coming out of the ground. That way, you bring them airborne and they don't have their. Or you can just hit them with the. until they parry. <laughs> Oh, who's this, like, snake person thing? That's a uh, Gorgon. Of course. Come on, Chris. Oh, Listen, you man. Like creatures, Chris. I haven't been immersed in Greek mythology like Clemence and crew for the past few years. Didn't you play, I mean, Assassin's Creed Odyssey had a uh, Medusa challenge? Never heard of it. <laughs> just kidding. Yes, I totally beat Medusa. You should pick up when you have, like, five minutes. <laughs> it's just a... Just looking for something, uh, a like light, bite-sized game to play. 
Uh, you've got like a whole crew coming here, you said. I do. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit them with a big hammer. Try and get all of them. All right, got a lot of them. Boom. Oh, that Minotaur doesn't like me. Uh, Achilles Melee uh, asking, can you fly too close to the sun? <laughs> uh, that is very funny, but no, you cannot. You can't fly too close to the sun, but you can. Uh... You can run out of stamina, and that's the same experience because then your wings will disappear and you'll fall to your death. So, unless you get some stamina potions or some blue mushrooms you can munch on during your fall. But, uh, if the you wings really want are... to live that Icarus life, yeah, if you, you can. You can, but you're also already living it a little bit because those wings were made by Daedalus, who is the father of Icarus. So, that's his set that he has on, that you, the hero has on. The set that did not burn up because they were flown too close to the sun. Oh, Quance, you just said something there too that um, that you can just eat the mushrooms themselves. You can eat yes. the base ingredients. Is that right? Yes, you can eat the base ingredients. They will give you uh, one chunk, and if you use potions, uh, they will give you several chunks back. Oh, ah, okay. So it's more efficient, obviously, to eat potions then. It's just the the time you press on your uh, in your D pad. It depends on how long you stay. It's either going to use the ingredients or it's going to use the potion. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we just saw, like, when we entered in here, we saw, like, three symbols, uh, or, like, three spaces, and two of those were lit up. What, what, is that, like, a difficulty indicator? Yes, you saw, uh, Typhon heads. Ah. And if it's, uh, one Typhon head, it's, uh, easy, and if it's three Typhon heads, it's hard. Oh, okay, so we got a two-headed Typhon here. Ready to discover your challenge? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? What is happening here? Oh my god! <laughs> is this pinball? <laughs> yes, it is a pinball inspired ball. Okay, interesting. Oh, oh, I see a lever over here. Okay. Oh my but god. The ball is on fire. Oh, so I, 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 right, I probably have to get it to destroy these wooden blocks. Oh my god. Yes! Oh, this is so cool. How do you think he does it? What makes him so good? Oh, they all caught on fire. Yusuf. Go, go, go. Oh, I gotta get up the middle. Up the middle. Yusuf, how are your real life pinball skills? Uh, you know what? They're, I don't know. Not great, I'm gonna be honest. Not great, but it oh. looks like they're pretty decent. Oh, not hard <laughs> so enough. Close. Get up there, get up there. Oh, okay, we got a lid on fire. Do I also need to get the ball down there, though? You are correct. Okay, I need to get the ball down there also. You gotta get a good hit. See, Spectral Tiger, thanks for joining the chat. Yusuf, sink that shot. There we go. Spectral hey, Tiger, that nice one was for you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and so, okay, it ooh, opens our path ahead now. I love a good hot vent. It reminds me of uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Just absolutely ruining carriages. Well, you know, riding the uh, the wings of uh, or the mm -hmm. uh, Leonardo's flying machine. Oh man, there's another board. Yes. Oh gosh. Oh my God, this one's so big. <laughs> oh oh oh! Wait, there's. Okay. Two layers. All right, Clemence, how are your pinball skills? Oh, there's multiple balls. There's multiple I balls. I miss pinball machines. That was really amazing. <laughs> Even the pinball on the windows was really cool. Multi ball. Oh, right. I forgot pinball windows. Oh, what happens? Right, what happens when? I, what happens when I lose the ball? I have two balls now, so be careful. I know. Yusef, you're a pinball wizard. Just think of Tommy. Okay, someone's a who very fan. inspirational figure in the uh, in the pinball world. Double shot. Come on. All right, so again, it's like the, these blocks are definitely in your way. Okay, oh, we're, like, we, we can break them. Oh, it just them. takes a little extra juice to smash your way through them. Okay, put a little muscle into it. There we go. Boom. So, Clemence, we are now in this, like, uh, kind of ethereal realm doing some stone pinball. What is with the deal with these, like, uh, these are called Tartaros Rifts? 
So the little volcano you jumped into when you were in the environment, those are rifts and they are portals to vaults of Tartarus, which we are currently here. Uh, these are challenges um, to for the player where the main resource at the end is a Zeus lightning bolt and you use them to upgrade your stamina. So they're quite important to collect. And they're here to challenge your wit, your logic, your reflexes, your dexterity. Uh, there's a wide variety of mechanics available uh, to be challenged and this is one of them. So they all uh, are happening in this uh, ephemeral environment with uh, the sky dome and uh, these blue and purple hues. All right, Chris. Yusuf, you got three balls on the table now. The, the path is clear. We just need a strong shot up the middle. I believe right. in you. I believe in you. Uh, Clemence, we've been uh. having some questions about like uh, tech specs on PC. Is that stuff y'all have like uh, stuff to share on right now, or is that like closer to launch info? For tech, for PC information, yeah, they will be closer to launch. There you go, AI share. bags. But Sorry, remain I, curious. <laughs> I've been seeing your your uh, questions there, AI bags. Uh, all right, did Boom. it. I was like, I was very worried I was gonna have to get all three in there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's not a three. It's not a three skull challenge. All right, get that stamina. Oh, upgraded. we did it. Yeah. Did it. it. Ooh wee. Oof, that's how you do it, folks. That's how you play some pinball. <laughs> the power of Zeus compels you. Gear Show saying, ain't this just pinball? Wasn't this an adventure game? It's both. <laughs> We're out of the pinball puzzle. And uh, Yusuf, I'm, I'm feeling like... Well, I guess actually, Clemence, is there something we think we should direct Yusuf towards here? Like we've gotten, a, we've gotten like kind of a variety of puzzles, of combat, of puzzle combat, like from the exploration we've been doing thus far. Uh, so are we just gonna tell Yusuf to follow his heart, or is there something you think would be cool for us to go check out? Well, we might want to go see him challenge his uh, guided arrow skills. Uh, so there are some puzzles uh, that require you to have your arrow go through some hoops, so that's something we can go challenge. There are several on the map, let's see. If you zoom in a little closer, I think we'll be able to see some more. Is this There's one, one up, up here? north, yeah. Okay. There's one there that we can do. Um, if you want, you can fast travel to the statue of Hephaestus, that way you go to the west. Here? Yep, that way, yeah. That can help Head us go there. there a little bit faster. Yeah. I love we'll a good statue, over. anyways, you know? I'm here for the statuary. That's why sometimes if you don't remember in which region you are, you turn around, look at the statue, and then you'll know where you are. Excellent. I mean, I for sure did that uh, in some regions of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so I really like that, just like give, helping you out with the big landmarks. Well, and we, we can see now here, too, that we're up way up high on the statue, um, like the different regions, right? Hold on. Of course, remember, folks, this is a uh, work in progress build. Yeah, so there are a bunch of other regions. We're just in the Forge Lands today. Yeah. Uh, and get an idea for the map here. Spring. War's Den. Oh, man. It sounds like a very welcoming place. It's like a den feels cozy, but War's Den? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can guess some of the god other gods through there. Region names. Ares. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You don't, you don't know a Gorgon, but you know Ares. Listen, I know what a Gorgon is. It just... Man. It's, it's our File version of a Gorgon. They need to recognize <laughs> all of them. File under things Yusuf will continue to roast me about for streams to come, folks. Yeah. If you want to see that, hit the follow on the channel. <laughs> Uh, Ian Nichols, yeah, we're in the Forge Lands. Uh, the Forge Lands is the, uh, is the only region we're exploring today. I love this artwork. Yeah, as you can see in the in the clues, the little Z indicates some tidbits from Zeus. So you have some comments from him in the VO and also in uh, when <laughs> in the loading screen as well. Oh, God. <laughs> Zeus is a little salty, isn't he? He's a little bit of a salty salty guy. Well, Zeus is here for getting the end of the story, and Prometheus is telling, is telling his, it's taking his, his. Oh my God, I cannot say that expression. He's taking his time, 
Uh, ah. So Zeus is getting a little bored. He wants to get to the end, but Prometheus has a lot of things to say. Was well, this one of those situations? You know, Prometheus is is being tortured by Zeus, and as long as he keeps telling the story, he's uh, he's safe. <laughs> Uh, it's a little bit different this uh, this time around, but it is the inspiration we have. So yes, Prometheus is chained to a rock for having given uh, fire to mortals, and uh, Zeus needs his help. Help. And the thing about Prometheus is that he can see into the future, and uh, for some reason, uh, Zeus thought it was a super great idea to bet on the end of the story with Prometheus. And so Zeus just wants to see if he won the bet, but Prometheus has things to say. Ah. <laughs> Prometheus doesn't want to make it easy for Zeus. I mean, Zeus chained him to a rock. It's not like his favorite guy, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a love hate relationship uh, that is present in Greek mythology, and we had fun bringing it to life. And uh, the twist we brought uh, this time around is that we were inspired by uh, some of the works, for example, as. Um, uh, oh. Might just have to reset this demo yeah. here. Uh, such as um, Princess Bride. I don't, if you, I don't know if you've seen it, and if you have oh, yeah. or haven't, you need to see it. It's amazing. It has so the same uh, dynamic of uh, our, the narrators having an impact on, on the story you're seeing on the screen. Excellent. All right, folks, quick reminder that this is a demo. This is a work in progress. So the loading we've been seeing recently, it's just a little bump in the road. This is, uh, you know, game still in development. It's coming out December 3rd, uh, and, you know, the team has been hard at work on it up in Quebec That's City. True because you wanted to see the dynamic between Zeus and Prometheus, so that's where we can get the introduction again. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we were actually just talking about it, so we're going to get a little taste of it. We ran it at the beginning of the stream, for those of you who turned in about an hour ago, uh, but we'll get a little bit more of the, the flavor between Zeus and Prometheus. You'll see uh, the kind of narrative banter that uh, is woven throughout Immortals, Phoenix Rising, and some of the humor. Like, that's one of the things that's really enjoyable about this game also. It's like, get that lightness, get that humor in there. Uh, really just puts a smile on your face. But that's the thing, that was uh, and I, that was one of the key elements of the game from the start because Greek mythology is very heavy with some of the subject matter and uh, the dynamic of the stories of the gods and their relationship with mortals. And But the thing is that gods do really weird things as well, especially Zeus. So it was a really a fun, fine line to navigate between uh, some like Greek drama and stories and also having fun with the humor. So. We hope it, they make you laugh as much as uh, it makes us laugh. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, folks, uh, I think I might have to uh, reset the, uh, the the demo on our end, so I'm going to give you all Chris. Hi. <laughs> and uh, well, it's Chris, me. entertain the people. <laughs> entertain the people? Uh, Should have given him Clement. She's the one with the the, the, the real knowledge. Uh, Clement, so you're, uh, you know, obviously development is continuing. Folks just got a really good look at this game yesterday in Ubisoft Forward. So if you want to check out uh, a walkthrough that shows off a lot more of the gameplay, if you want to check out some of the character customization stuff, go ahead over to the Ubisoft YouTube channel. You'll be able to find some more info about it there. Uh, but, you know, in the coming months, we're going to see a little bit more of Immortals Phoenix Rising. Clement, can you give folks any, any tidbits of what's to come? So yeah, we have uh, it, the date is coming soon, but we have still things to to share, and we'll be able so check our own social media, and we'll make sure to keep you guys informed. And if you have questions uh, in the chat, maybe we can take some time to, to answer some of your questions. Absolutely. Uh, so we let's switch this over back. We've got our loading screen up again, and uh, yeah, is this playable on Xbox, Mason Griff? Yeah, Xbox One, PS4, PC, Nintendo Switch, Stadia. Did I get that? Did I cover them? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, you have that, and uh, also we'll have uh, next gen as well. Fantastic. Good news is we were uh, we're gonna start right where we uh, right where we were uh, trying to fast travel to anyway at the uh, statue of Hephaestus. So yeah, right now Prometheus is trying to very, tell a very dramatic story. El Kashi wants to know, uh, can you talk about nightmare mode? How uh, How is the difficulty there? Hold on, let's listen to Zeus real quick. You're right. Even if I wasn't, though I was, I'd be listening to your story for days. It's called dramatic effect. It's called, where's my skip button? Fine. Cute title. Ubisoft Quebec presents the video game. Formerly known as Gods and Monsters. 
Uh, so poking a little fun at yourselves there, huh? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Wait till you see a second. There's another one just after. <laughs> <laughs> the French. <laughs> the French. Uh, Come the on, French. so are you taking this personally? I am French and I still laugh at that joke. <laughs> uh, so yeah, to answer the nightmare question, unfortunately I can go into a bit more detail, but it is a mode that we want to have you be able to push your limits. Uh, I'm guessing we'll be able to go into detail closer to launch, but stay tuned. Yusuf, I think we might need a little audio finagling here. Uh, are we, are we getting double we audios? How's might be that? getting some doubles. That should be better now. I think that's better, and I still kind of loud, folks? It tend to be sometimes, but let us know. Right, we're going straight into the uh, archery challenge. Yusuf, you've done a fair amount of archery in assorted video games, and even earlier today. How are you feeling about your chances going into this uh, guided arrow challenge? Chris, I'm glad you asked, um, because the answer is I'm confident. I'm very confident. I have no doubts in my abilities whatsoever. Mm -hmm, uh, I mm -hmm, think this is mm -hmm. going to be a breeze. Yeah. Clemence, we've got a very confident young man here uh, riding into the challenge. What do you think? Uh, what do you think of his 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 uh, his confidence here? Is it is it earned? Is he going to get his comeuppance? What, what do you expect? <laughs> well, he does master the controls really well, so I'm guessing he won't have that much of a problem. But you know, with puzzles and logic based uh, challenges, you never know. Um, so I'm actually quite curious because sometimes you think you've had them all and you just missed one, so I'll see how that goes. And uh, just a little tidbit is those challenges are called Odysseus challenges, uh, and they refer to the Odysseus challenge that Odysseus had to challenge himself when he came back from his adventures. He had to shoot an arrow through um, some axes to show that it was really him because he knew how to, he was very skilled with a, with a, with a bow and arrow. So it is a little uh, remembrance to also that Greek myth. Imagine having to prove it to you by being super sick at archery. Like, <laughs> oh, yep, that's him. Or you, you brick it and it's like, nah, imposter, be gone. Life was hard. Recognized by your talent. I wonder how I could be recognized by mine. <laughs> yeah, right. What would be your identifying talent? Prove it's you, Clemence. <laughs> Tell us exactly where to find the pinball challenge <laughs> in the Forge Lands. <laughs> We got over here uh, real quick. We saw some people noticing that Yusuf's uh, stamina bar there had a, or had a little extra bar for a little bit. Uh, we've done some stamina upgrading, but uh, we, folks are curious about how you upgrade that stuff, like the stamina bar, the health bar. Like Clemence, can you give a little uh, info on that? Yeah, of course. So the, all of the progression in uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising happens in your home base called uh, Hall of the Gods. Sorry. Uh, it's not available in this demo, but it will be in the main game. Uh, it's your central hub where you go. We recommend to you to go several times. And the way it works is that when you go into the world exploring, solving vaults, solving challenges, you get a lot of resource elements and then we want you to go back to your hub and spend them there so you'll be able to spend your ingredients for potions your a lightning bolt of zeus for for stamina ambrosia is used for your health so yeah and uh, the adamant and shards that the blue red and yellow crystals you've been uh, collecting when fighting enemies those are used to upgrade your your gear nice and uh, you had a little glimpse of the Hall of the Gods uh, in the trailer and in the walkthrough, so if you want to go check those out, I highly recommend it. Yeah, you can find those on Ubisoft's YouTube channel. Yusuf, taking down some harpies, warming up those bow skills that we're going to put oh, yes. to the test here. And arrows, it uh, looks like, regenerate here. Festos may have been slow to anger and reluctant to fight. Uh, sorry? Uh, is it true? Like, the arrows are, are sort of regenerating, yes. right? That's what that yes. green bar is. You're not, you're not crafting, but you can uh, upgrade your number of arrows. Hot as lava, right into Mimesis' face. It was awesome. So yeah, every uh, puzzle has uh, that is referenced to a, a, a Greek myth. And uh, you might have some banter between uh, Zeus and Prometheus and then learning a little bit more and get a bit curious about what they're talking about. I like it. Yusuf going around smashing these like red corruption crystals. Uh, and then I'm seeing these axes, Yusuf. I think this is what you're going to have to shoot through. I, yeah, I see loops. Uh, looks like there's one on top of here, maybe. Is there? 
Oh, no. So those okay. are actually, yeah, shards of oh. adamantine. The metal, yep. Uh, so those are going to be, you're collecting them, and those will be able to upgrade your your equipment. Uh, but where you were just now is the where your arrow needs to end. So ah, at least okay. you check that if it was available. <laughs> so that's good, because if you did the whole challenge and at the end, it's the end zone is not available, that would have been not to do it again. All so right, and he's off, folks. Already three hoops in. Arrow. Uh, so, don't forget that you can uh, adjust the speed to right. negotiate some of those angles. Yeah, so I'm controlling it with the right stick, and then the left stick, if I pull or push forward um, forward or back, I can tr control the speed, and so... Is he going to get it on the first try? He's around the horn. It's going to come back around in a circle and head towards that big, uh, presumably, Hephaestus face. This is very fun to... Ooh, tight turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's taking my, my it. stamina, too. Almost. <laughs> Mike, where, where's the next one? In the mouth, in the mouth, Wait, in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Did I get it? Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Woo! Woo. Your face in the mysterious portal. Nothing wrong. Good, nothing, good, nothing could go wrong. Unfounded confidence <laughs> pays off. And you've got two coins. So uh, those you actually collect those for to upgrade your abilities. So. Nice. Uh, I gotta tell you, if they ever make a statue of me, mouth close, hundred <laughs> percent. No way. My you doing. want a fire pit in your mouth, the statue? <laughs> yeah, what if, what if you, no. what, what if the statue breathes fire, Chris? You wouldn't want that? Mm, I would want it out the nostrils. The nostrils, okay. Yeah, I just feel like that's cooler. Fair. Although, Fair. like, probably less practical, because you would, like, blow fire on your own face and self. So, it's true. I don't know. It's not, it's it's not an option for people with beards. <laughs> no, definitely not. Uh, we had a question from Claudio AC, uh, Claudio, big AC fan, and asking about uh, the historian from AC Odyssey, Stephanie Ann Ruada. Has she done some work uh, helping out with the sort of Greek mythology elements here in Immortals? Yes. So Stephanie Ann was a key uh, element in us all learning about Greek mythology on Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and uh, she helped us as well on Immortals: Phoenix Rising, getting to know all of these myths, all of the, these gods a little better. Understanding their like family tree and all of the myths related to uh, well to everything mostly because they they had so many stories to tell. So, yes, she did help us and she's on the team. Excellent. Uh, I by now I feel like your your knowledge of mythology has probably increased tenfold over the past few years. Clemence, is there any like particular myth or element that you're like delighted to see in here because it's a favor of yours? That's a good question, because it is, yeah, pinball machines were not part of uh, Greek mythology, <laughs> even if it's surprising that automatons were. Uh, let me think. There are some myths related to the Apple of Discord or Pandora's box that you maybe have heard of in mainstream pop culture before that we will go dive a little bit more in the game. Nice. Pandora's box. Classic. All right, Yusuf, what are you sniffing out now? I see a big chair over here. And I'm very a interested in this big chair. <laughs> what, you getting tired out? I mean, a Maybe. big chair usually means that someone big had to sit there. So that that's is true. true. That yeah. is solid logic. <laughs> I like it. All right, once we get down here, we'll uh, equip our, uh, we'll get our mount. Uh, there were some people who I think were a little alarmed that your uh, mount just ran off a cliff earlier, Yusuf. Can we please reassure them that your mount is okay? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. The automaton horse lives to ride again. Oh, yeah. And so you I see, think... for example, sorry. Uh, uh, no, you no, see, no, for please. example, this mount has uh, three levels of stamina. So those are the differences with some other mounts that have maybe one, just one bar of stamina. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So right. Zeus and Prometheus are going to talk here a little bit to give some lore explanations. So I don't remember when it triggers, but I think it's when you get closer to the chair. Ah. Oh. Yusuf, don't sit on the throne, it's a trap. Or do? Zeus doesn't really strike me as the most trustworthy individual. 
Oh, throw some rocks. I want to see some combat rocks. You want to see combat rocks? All right. Yeah. I see combat I, rocks. I'm just. I'm, I'm worried. I might need these rocks for a puzzle or something. I mean, there will always be rocks, don't worry. There will always be rocks? Alright, Clemence has assured me there will always be rocks. Combat rocks. Oh, oh alright, oh, sir, that was ouch. rude. Surprise you broke my rock! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for indulging me, Yusuf. I of course. That's what I'm here for, Chris. Indulging you and... Killing autonomous. Give the people what they want, and by the people, I mean me. Us mere mortals. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right. Okay. So this is actually a new, uh, uh, one of the other puzzles that we haven't seen on the stream yet. Um, and you need to unlock those four blocks and you'll need to solve it. And to help you out, there is an image uh, on those four blocks that also remind uh, of a Greek myth. And you'll get to know a little bit more about it. But you'll need to unblock them. Okay. So First thing I'm going to do is smash. Uh, there you go. Down oh, always a never a bad idea to smash the corruption adamant adamantine. Is that right? Uh, uh, that's a corruption. Adamantine is are the shards for for your weapons. Oh, okay, okay. But they are crystal like both of them. Okay, I think I can jump through here. Oh, all right. Well, that hurt. You got a little, got a little zinger. Okay, time it right. One, two, two, one. Is there? Count it down. I, time it. Can I dash over the spikes? Okay, I can. Let's see the dash. Can he get the timing, or will he get nope. totally Nope, <laughs> went too early. <laughs> I was like, I gotta laser. dash when they're up. I gotta dash when they're up. <laughs> Straight up eating some lasers. That's all right. right. One more to go, and then we'll see what this whole image business is. Mons is telling us about. All right, I can't jump through there. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I could probably mm. take the lasers to the face, but I don't. That's 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 not the way it should be done. Don't go sit on the chair. Don't do it. Well, I'm just checking the chair if it's got any shiny metallic blocks that can block lasers. Investigating. A good puzzle-solving skill. Investigating. Like all these like, little wheels to see people thinking, and then a little <laughs> light bulb when they solve it. <laughs> Let's go. Get it, right. buddy. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, okay. All right, spotting the targets. Oh, oh, is there another one? Just jump over the lasers. It's timed. All right, what? Well, all right, I missed that. I missed that one. <laughs> let it, let it reset. Get, get ready. A one, a two. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> all that and he still ends up eating lasers. That's all right. Got some of that sweet pomegranate juice. Ah, okay. So I got to solve this puzzle now. Okay. Okay. Slide puzzles. Let's go. Make art, Yusuf. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Very helpful, Chris. Like, thank you. No. It, uh, yeah. No, you got to push. All right. Push the top one to the left. The left one down. The left down one. That's to up. And then, then just like flip the counterclockwise rotation. And then you're just gonna go this way. Yeah. No problem. You got this. Clemence, having yeah. seen a number of people take on various puzzles, how are you? How is your like uh, puzzle watching patience? Are you, can you like tell when people are about to get it? Are there other moments where you just want to be like, you're so close, you just gotta. Yeah, that's. It's a real. It's a. It really requires you to be super patient and like trust that they can solve it because you always want to help them out. But like remember when you're yourself, you were trying to solve it. Um, so it is a little bit nerve wracking, but you get used to it. Wait, no, push it's the three. You don't want them. Can you push three at a time? Sorry to interrupt, Clemence. Well, no, the, the corners no, three, here are blocked off. Yeah. Oh, you can. Oh, I see. You can only push on those. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. So your top pieces could be. No, they're totally flipped. Wait, Flip wait. it and dip. Just mm. do the rotate. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, you got it. Yep, one more. There. Okay, and then okay. this. I need this piece to go under this piece here, though. <laughs> Mason Griff says, I act like a potato when it comes to puzzles. Lol. <laughs> hey, we all have our moments. I just when need to flip feel... these two. 
when you feel like you're you're getting it or like you're almost there, not quite. Uh, Renatos is asking about mouse and keyboard gameplay. We are currently playing with a controller, I imagine. Yusuf's got his, uh, judging by the prompts, your Xbox One controller. That is correct. But, uh, you know, mouse and keyboard controls are supported. And actually, we just uh, posted on news.ubisoft.com a whole list of uh, sort of different control options, different customization options um, to help you play the game in like a comfortable way for you. So I'm going to put that in the Twitch chat if you folks want to learn more about different control customizations and settings and stuff like that. Chris, good news. I'm a genius. Yusuf, I knew you had it in you. I knew, I believe in you all along. I've nice done work. It. Couldn't have done it without the team. It was a team effort. Showed me, showed me where these were. Can I go sit in the big chair, Chris? Is that it? For sure, you definitely need to sit I earned the big chair. You gotta sit in the big throne, Yusuf. Are we gonna end the stream with you sitting on the big throne and just think, flexing on everyone? I think that's a good way to uh, wrap things up. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> it's spinning! Ooh. I'm sure nothing weird will happen. I'm sure we'll be fine. It, there are... <laughs> Look at Clement's smile, it's so ominous. What's out? <laughs> See, it's totally fine. Oh, it's showing you the place of your previous victory, Yusuf, Pinball Island. That's true. Not That's true. probably what it's actually called <laughs> in the game, but uh, <laughs> the site of one of the many puzzles we conquered in our, and by we, I mean Yusuf. Thank you. Basically, Thank you. Yusuf. Couldn't have done it without Clemence's <laughs> help. Chris, you were useless. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, folks, this has been a look at Immortals Phoenix Rising, uh, an hour of live gameplay, checking out the game just shown off in a big way yesterday at Ubisoft Forward. Reminder, head over to Ubisoft's YouTube channel if you want to see more. Uh, as Clemence was saying earlier, you get a glimpse at character customization, you get a glimpse at the upgrades, as well as some of the other puzzles and combat uh, of Immortals Phoenix Rising. Clemence, really want to thank you for coming on the stream, sharing all your knowledge, answering a lot of questions from chat. It's been awesome to have you here. Thank you for inviting me. It's been lots of fun. Well, hopefully we can get you back on at some time before the game comes out. December 3rd, folks, is when Immortals Phoenix Rising is coming to PC, Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Stadia. And uh, you, too, will be able to lift large rocks and uh, throw, throw them, them indiscriminately the into the distance. No concern for who might be down there. Absolute oh. terror of the Forge Lands. <laughs> this is how I go fishing, Chris. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so we're just going to be throwing rocks here for the rest of the day, folks. Thank you for joining us. If you want to check out more of the games from Ubisoft Forward, as well as watch us play more uh, Ubisoft games, we stream twice a week here at Ubisoft News Plays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Pacific. Hit the follow button on this channel for more. And, uh, yeah, this is this has been really fun. Oh, this is a nice way to end. Especially Flying majestically off into the distance. For the sunset. Thanks so much for watching, folks. We will be back on Wednesday. Chris will be back on Wednesday uh, with another game to stream, and uh, you definitely won't want to miss it. 10 a.m. Pacific time. Go ahead and follow this channel if you don't already, and you'll get a notification whenever we go live. And uh, until then, have a great weekend. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.